So we love our alliums. You would have seen some previous videos where we've um, shown you um, various allium varieties we've got growing in our garden. I've never grown this one before. Uh, this is one called Summer Drummer, which apparently it says here um, has flowers 20 centimeters across. I mean, goodness me, that's wider than the size of the pack. We're going to have goodness gracious, great balls of purple flowers um, here in the summer. And they get 180 centimeters, six foot, 72 inches. So they're going to be right up here somewhere with these great big balls of flower. I'm going to put seven of them in. So we're going to have this kind of swathe of purple balls of flowers next, uh, next summer. Uh, I even got my tape measure out to kind of work out how big they, um, they will get. Don't know why I did that really. Um, anyway, I did. Um, and so dug some really deep holes. These are about, about that length, so at least six inches deep. Put some fertilizer in the bottom of the hole, some slow release fertilizer. Just gonna mix that in a little bit. There you go. Make the bottom of the hole nice and soft for the roots as well. Doing this in autumn, which is when the bulbs are dormant, and that's when you'll find them in the, in the nurseries and the garden centers. And uh, we should expect them to be into flower then next summer probably kind of May, June here in the UK, much loved by the bees, um, as is uh, indicated by this little kind of symbol on the packet. <laughs> and as I've been planting them, I have to be a little bit careful because we've got a, a wasp nest over there. So there they go. Um, they will also enjoy them next summer. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like wasps, but actually they're pollinators too. And um, uh, we haven't had much problem with them. I think um, we've head butted a couple. Um, and I think my wife got stung once, but so far they haven't touched me. But maybe with me digging all these holes around here, I'm putting my, myself in the, in the firing line. Anyway, there we are. So there's a good old bulb. It's got some baby bulbs starting to grow on the side as well there. So pointy end up, roots at the bottom, down, deep, deep down into the hole he goes. And then we we'll just drag the soil that we dug out, drag that back around. There we go. Well, here we are in late, no, middle July, and uh, the summer drummer are doing their thing. And uh, they're much later flowering than some of the alliums, and uh, much, 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 much taller than um, some of the other alliums. So what happened was, as soon as we planted them back in the autumn, um, Within a few weeks, we saw shoots coming up through the soil um, in the middle of winter, uh, probably before Christmas. And we had some very cold weather and I thought, oh, oh, we've lost them. But no, they just kept on growing. They sat still during the cold weather. Uh, and then um, through the spring, those leaves just kept on increasing and the shoots got longer and longer and longer. And then by late spring, we saw the flower buds starting to form, um, probably around about end of May, early June. Um, but it wasn't until probably late June that they started to kind of burst out of those um, kind of flower cases and these purple flowers emerged. And then once they'd emerged, they then developed these. Can you see that? These little kind of florets, these kind of open flowers, which seem to be in no hurry to, um, to finish. So um, I think... Generally, it's a big thumbs up for this um, this this new variety to me of um, of allium. I think um, I will learn my lesson, and now I can see how tall they're going to get. Uh, I might lift them and transplant them and put them at the back of another border behind some shrubs, so I'm not looking at those kind of long exposed stems. But it'd be brilliant to have you if you can imagine a shrub that's maybe as high as that, and then these guys just pop up from behind the shrub. Um, with um, their lovely flowers, but we can hide some of those kind of long, long stems uh, behind uh, that shrub. And uh, looking at these, I think we are going to get another couple of weeks of colour out of these yet. Uh, so for a long show um, where you want a little bit of height on your flowers behind some taller shrubs, 
I would have a look at Allium Summer Drummer. <laughs>